All right, thanks, Stephen. Speaking of this hot weather, the summer heat is already leading to stress on the power grid for many, like our neighboring state, Texas. With more heat on the way for us, Jalissa Garza is in Little Rock. She spoke with experts and asked, should we have any concerns? We make sure our power plants are running as efficiently and, and, as, and as good as possible. Rob Rodell with Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas says year-round maintenance is key in preparing for the winter cold and summer heat. 24-7, 365, we're doing maintenance on the plants and also our transmission infrastructure. With neighboring states like Texas already concerned and bracing their power grids for the heat, Rodell says luckily we're okay here in Arkansas. Based on information we've received from our regional transmission organizations, which include Southwest Power Pool and MISO, um, that we have adequate capacity throughout the region for, for, for the summer of 23. MISO, a company that helps manage Arkansas's electrical grid and energy, agree, saying they're prepared to meet the region's demand and closely monitor weather that may impact the grid. We have concerns, as always, because if a power plant happens to trip or go out of service, that can cause some strain on the system. And there's always a possibility of that. Meanwhile, Rodell says they look at all power sources to make sure there's different options we can rely on. Some are, some are good for peaking times and some are good for that steady flow of energy that you have to have to, to maintain it. Here in Arkansas, we're at about 20% non-fossil emitting uh, power generation at this time because that made sense. That was affordable. But while we shouldn't have issues this summer, Rodell says there's concern about the future. We're looking at some uh, base load gas plants that'll need to be constructed to replace the energy that will be that will come offline when some of our coal based assets uh, close in 2028 2030 time frame. The electric cooperatives of Arkansas says they're already working ahead to make sure in the future we'll still be OK and can handle whatever the weather may bring. We're doing our best to to navigate the, the resources that are available. In Little Rock, Jalissa Garza, THV 11 News. The summer heat usually, of course, means higher energy bills that come with it. So if you need help, LIHEAP, the Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program, is set to begin next month for those who qualify.